you guys doing there? This is Master Race 986 coming at you for another episode of Farming Simulator 17 here. Today we're going to be moving into our brand new toe shop here in West Bridge Hills. We had such amazing success in Goldcrest Valley that we did want to expand to a new city to help them out. So we're going to be frontiering this new city here. So we do have our two mowers, the Sidon Walker and the Xmart and our JCB. So we're going to hop in our Super Duty. We're going to fire up the engine. Then just listen to that engine purr. And we're going to make our way down to the new city. We did bring up some of the equipment that we used out in Goldcrest Valley. We did move that up here. So this is our last set of equipment that we are going to be bringing up here. And I said I am going to be creating a video on how to install the building that I'm using because I did have uh, heavy amounts of failures trying to actually install it. And I finally got it to work so I am going to be doing a video on that in the future so be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Have that turned on so you'll be notified when I do release it which should be in the next week or so um, maybe even sooner. But here we are we do have our new shop right here on the left. And we're going to see we're going to make our way through here. And we do have our GMC Top Kick as well as our 2017 Ford that we did buy to have out here. So we're going to pull off. I'm just going to park the truck right here for now. We are going to drop the trailer. Ramps. Knock the load. We're going to shut down the engine so we're not wasting fuel here. And it is equipped with working doors. A big main door and a secondary door. We do have a wonderful area that we can hook up for our office in the future as well as storage up on the secondary loft. And then it's a large open area for working here as well as a secondary workshop area right in the back. Which will probably be where we're going to store our mowers. So we are going to begin. We'll pull off our JCB first. We'll fire that up. We'll just bring it out of the way real quick. That way we can bring the walker mower down, as well as the X mark mower. Shut that off, we don't want to burn too much fuel. And fire up that walker mower. We are going to probably do, in a future video, we'll go through and we'll actually mow out the grass here and get this grass nice and cut. That way we can use that, get this nice and neatened out for our customers. So we're going to bring this inside here. back it in and we'll slide right outside we'll grab our X mark here the nice big 72 inch bagger bring this over I was debating on whether or not to bring our stand-up mower but the more I thought about it, the more we might want to have a little more comfort for us and for our employees for when we're doing the mowing. So we're going to back that up and in. Beautiful. And then I was thinking, because we're going to bring the JCB in probably next, we might want to put the JCB maybe in the back corner right by the wall there in the workshop. So we'll get that. And depending on what may be going on, we might be taking out some of these railings up here on the top and possibly using that for storage for some of our backhoe equipment. But that'll be something we can figure out in the future here. So we'll bring that in. We'll back this up right nicely right here. And we will just lower the bucket so we're not wasting the hydraulics. So we can keep the hydraulics nice and easy and avoid any repairs that may come by it and then we're going to unload our 
GMC Top Kick with the 40 foot PJ Gooseneck trailer. So we are just going to finish dropping the ramps. And we're going to unload our tractor here that we have. We got brought a tractor with us and our compactor. This one we'll probably put right to the side of the main entrance there. That way we can have this in here. We won't have to worry. Because we are going to want to leave room for our company truck to fit in the parking there. We want to make sure there's room for the mowers to pull out. So we'll probably put this right here. This gives them plenty of room for the mowers to come through. And we are going to drop that. We'll shut off the engine and then we are just going to detach from there. I will also have a link for all these mods in the description down below with our mod list. And then we brought our second compactor here. This is more for, you know, small areas that we have to quickly compact. Um, we are going to put this... I'm going to try to put this right next to the tractor there but if it doesn't fit we'll just have to put it in another spot and it looks like yes we will have plenty of room for this to fit we'll just move it over just like that a little more we'll bring it up to just make sure we can get through and that looks good to me and then we are going to want to take care of these trailers here so we're going to pack in the gooseneck trailer first we'll fire that up we will bring up the ramps and we do have the first thing we did before we actually moved in was we made a little concrete, or not a concrete, a gravel parking area here. Just, you know, big enough for us to fit our trailers here. So we're going to back our trailers in nicely. Because there's no need to keep the trailers out in the environment. And we'll just move this over here and we will back this right into the garage here. We'll put it right over here to the left side in front of our one compactor. Bring it in, and that looks good. And then we might have to bring this one off-road a little bit, but we will get it in there. We'll just back this up. And what we'll do is we'll bring it around on the side here. And it looks like there was plenty of room to get that around. So we'll straighten that up. And we will just back this right in ever so gently. We'll put it right to the next of it. Up outside here, we'll detach the trailer and we will put this right inside here and this one we'll just put right next to the GMC top kick there in nice and gently and decide if we can actually put it right here that way we have plenty of room so we can bring out the mowers when we need them and that looks I want it to be as nice as possible here because this is a brand new shop and that looks good to me. So we are going to hop out and we will be moving over the 2017 Ford F450. This will be the truck that we will be using for our company here. So when we have to do any kind of mowing, we'll load a trailer up onto this. That way we can save a little bit of money on fuel because we won't have to use the big trucks. So we'll just back this in here. That seems to be good, just like that. We'll shut down our engine, and that is what a wonderful looking shop looks like. We got three trucks, two mowers, a comp two compactors, and a JCB. That should help us out with some of our construction. Um, stay tuned, because we are going to be doing some more improvements for the shop here, because we have such a large space. We're going to want to mow this. We're going to open an area out here so we can do stone for ourselves. So we don't have to go to the local distributor. We can do stuff here on site. Uh, with that being said, thanks for watching and subscribe for more.